In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Uber app for the first time. So if it's the first time that you're going to use Uber, well then this video is going to be perfect for you. So not to just state the obvious, but of course you need to firstly create an account with Uber to be able to access it. So if you already don't have an account, you will be able to actually just get the app and then you will be able to see a sign up button. You can just click on there. And after you have created your account, you should be taken to this page right here. So for this video, I'm going to focus on specifically the rides, as you can see. You can There is even Uber Eats, as you can see, that you can actually order food to your uh, place where you live, basically. That is also an option, as you can see. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on the rides itself. So what, what you're going to do first is to come to this page right here. So let's say that you want to be able to book a trip right now, right? So that is basically what you're going to do. Well, then you're going to firstly click where it says enter pickup location. As you can see, so just click here. And then we're just going to take a, an address. So I'm just going to write, for example, Los Angeles. And uh, let's take this one to this one right here. So let's say that I would like to go from Beverly Hills to the LA uh, airport, as you can see, and we are going to take, uh, we can take this one right here. Let's see what it's going to actually give me. So as you can see, it gives me a couple of alternatives right here. So as you can see, the entire, the entire trip seems to be able to be taken five minutes. As you can see, you can see right there, it says five minutes. So the trip for me will be able to actually be just five minutes, which is quite cool that they're able to actually calculate the estimated time, in my opinion. So what you're going to do when you have entered the trip, uh, and you double check so that everything is correct, of course, as you can see, Alaska Airlines Terminal 6, everything seems to be working correctly in here. So what you're going to do now is to just scroll down. As you can see, there is a couple of alternatives for us in here. For example, you have the Comfort here or the Uber X, as you can see, which is actually the most cheapest alternative. So I guess that a lot of you are going to choose this one because it is like quite fast and also it's very cheap. I mean, it's not very cheap, but it's cheaper than the other alternatives in here, as you can see. And you're just going to select the one that you want to be able to get basically. But you can also scroll down in here. As you can see, there is actually a couple of other alternatives in here. You can even reserve, as you can see. Uh, this one right here, it actually does uh, decrease the price a little bit, as you can see. But let's just take the first one in here, just to demonstrate for this tutorial. So I'm just going to take this one right here. So as you can see, I can see the total price in here. Then I'm just going to click on Add Payment Method. As you can see, you will need to actually add a payment method to be able to book uh, your Uber like your uber basically just so you know you can click either where it says add payment me method or if you have a voucher as well you can click on add voucher code as you can see but just click on add payment method for this tutorial so you can see gift card klarna paypal or credit or debit card so just add your payment method if you haven't done so already then you can go back right here and as you can see in the top left corner it says personal so it's for me that i'm booking this uh, uber uh, right. But if it's a business, basically, if you have a business or if there's a business trip that you want to be able to take on your Uber uh, and you want to be able to actually take advantage of that, you can just click on the business. As you can see, get more with business travel, quicker, easier, expensive, expensing sync automatically with expensing apps. As you can see, keep work trips separate, get receipts to your work email and get travel reports, see, tra uh, see tr trip activity all in one place. So this is also one that you can actually choose if it's for business, as you can see. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to check personal. So now I'm just going, to, after you have entered like your payment uh, method, you can just go back. I'm just going to actually go back in here. Then you will be able to book your uh, ride. As you can see, it's pretty easy to be able to actually book an Uber right now, but we can go back in here. So as you can see, even here, uh, for example, if you speak Spanish, you can book this one where it says Espanol. As you can see, this one is also possible if you want to be able to speak uh, Spanish with the guy that is driving, or guy or girl that is driving, basically. So yeah, I mean, as of right now, this is exactly how you can actually use Uber app for the first time. It is pretty easy. It's not something hard to be able to use it. Just like choose your destination and then book uh, an Uber and then wait for it to come basically and then you will be able to pay uh, for your trip and that is basically exactly how to use uh, Uber app for the first time.